Use the solution formulator. In this episode, I'm going to address the question, what is the best way to make crucial decisions? You're going to be blown away with my favorite tool that I use with my children, my grandchildren, my clients, our employees. So put on your seatbelt. Here we go. So I'm Doug Andrew, and if you've watched other episodes, welcome back. But if you are familiar with a lot of my education, I'm very passionate about providing people uh, with insights into opportunities that maybe they didn't know existed before. I'm into empowerment. I like to share true principles with people and then also show them uh, strategies or concepts on how to apply that true principle in their life. And then I like to share a tool that I've developed so that you can implement this uh, concept in a fast power curve instead of the long learning curve that it took me. I don't want you to make the same mistakes I have. So I have this suite of tools. I call it uh, my tools in the Legacy Masters Toolbox. And I'm going to share with you probably one of my favorite ones. It's called the Solution Formulator. I use this with my children, my grandchildren, my employees, my clients. And you're going to see why this is so powerful when they need to make a crucial decision. These are usually printed out by eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper. This one, I like to print out in 11 by 17, and you're going to see why here. But uh, at the end, I'll show you how you can get some free copies of some of these if this resonates with you. But if you take good notes, you could do this on a blank sheet of paper. And I'm going to actually give you an example of how you fill out this form. Some of these tools are like, on a tool belt. This is one that's on a tool belt where I use this probably two or three times a week. Other tools are in a tool box I use once a week or once a month. Others are in a tool shed I might use once a year or, or twice a year. So here we go. I'm going to show you how to make crucial decisions the right way. So stay with me as I explain this. It may be hard for you to see every detail on the screen. I want you to listen on how this is organized. And then if you want, uh, you can download a copy and have these forms to use for yourself. This I call the solution formulator. And anytime any of our children have a major decision that they need to make, I say, go fill out a solution formulator. Oh, that's right, dad. You've told us to do that before. It takes them about 45 minutes to an hour. It looks like this. So I'm going to break it down step by step because it's numbered in what order you fill this out. Now, sometimes people say, oh, I don't want to fill out forms. Well, this is a way to have strategic thinking, to rethink your thinking. So the first thing you do after putting your name and the date on there is you describe the decision problem or project that you would like to tackle. So I give them about one or two lines to describe that. And then I think about uh, the big picture. What's the big picture? How will this help transform your life or your situation? And so they get very clear on how, what the transformation is going to be. And then you come down here actually to step three, which is on the bottom right of the form. And what date or dates, when does this have to come to fruition? Because you have to have a deadline, right? So then you come back to number four down here, and this is list the three greatest benefits that you'll derive when you achieve this with optimal results. So here you're writing the three greatest benefits. Over here on step number five, you're going to list the biggest barriers, roadblocks, or hindrances, the dangers that stand in the way of you achieving that. And so you list them here. Usually they list five, six, or seven, and they circle the top three barriers that stand in the way. You go over to the other side of the form, and number six over here is you write down what are the best resources that you can harness to overcome each obstacle. So you write down all these resources you have at your fingertips to overcome the corresponding obstacle and you circle the top three. And then over here on number seven, what new opportunities will this bring about? So they write down maybe two or three of the greatest opportunities this is going to bring about. So it's very methodical. So let me walk you through an example of this because on the back, once you get this done, you'll write down your specific action steps. 
so here we go. Many times people come in and they want to uh, put down a goal to not outlive our money in retirement and be able to enjoy and do what we want, like travel. So that's the goal. What is the big picture? To have enough income to enjoy life. So that's number two, to have enough income to enjoy life. We go over here to the fourth, which is actually the benefits, because I'll show you where the date is, the deadline date. But on number four here, what we are doing is we're writing down the three greatest benefits. So here it says that we can uh, retire financially secure. We can take our family on family uh, annual retreats with a purpose, and we can do humanitarian trips uh, without worrying about our money. So those are the three big benefits. Now we go over here to number five, and they're listing the biggest dangers. So let me just read these to you because I want you to get the concept more than these specific uh, answers. The big dangers are taxes are going to erode away about a third if they don't solve that problem. Inflation will double the cost of living about every seven to 10 years, and that will prevent them from achieving that. And market volatility will cause us not to have predictable rates of return. So those are three big dangers. So over here on the resources, they're going to complete a strategic rollout from their IRA or 401k portfolio to convert to tax-free income. I have episodes that talk about how to do that. Number two, we need to take control of our assets to have inflation not erode away our purchasing power. How to have inflation work for them instead of against them to always earn a rate of return greater than the inflation rate, which is what we teach in our various educational books and videos and so forth. Number three, we need to use the power of indexing, one of my favorite strategies, so that we don't lose when the market is down and still participate in upside potential. Do you notice? I usually write down three resources that overcome or alleviate or eliminate the three dangers. So that's what this thinking does. And then what are the greatest benefits? This will allow us to have the utmost liquidity on our money during retirement. Using a laser fund, one of my favorite solutions, as our primary strategy, we can take control and have 60% of our income be totally tax-free. So we're immune from taxes. We can take predictable income streams and not lose when the market is down. Those are the three greatest opportunities they can seize. So we've had many people do a similar solution formulator and they need to implement this five years before the 2024 election, let's say. So they put down some date or some event when they wanna take advantage of an opportunity. The last part of this is to then put down the specific action steps. So once you have filled out this side of the solution formulator and you have it all clear in your mind, you flip it over and you write down the specific action steps. For in this example, we can probably say, well, the ultimate goal is by eliminating the dangers of taxes, inflation, and market volatility, we feel we can retire with greater peace of mind. That's the conclusion after thinking through this on the solution formulator. And then the action steps. We need to finish the entitlement and enlightenment experience. This is where I teach them to abolish entitlement mindset and they learn how they can do these strategies with the laser fund and so forth. They get educated, they watch videos like this. Complete the true wealth discovery process, have prepared and review our strategic design. This is where they get all their financial house in order. Arrive at our proper success formula. So this is an eight step process and then complete the refinement process within three weeks. Get the thing going. Decide on our final action blueprint, what we're gonna do. Go through the implementation experience, which is usually three or four months for most people. And then we must commit to an accountability factor. What's that? This is where I require people to come in at least once a year and uh, make sure they're on track or if there's any adjustments we need to make, we, we wanna be flexible and I need to be accountable, okay? I need to make sure that I am still worth being their consultant, their advisor. What have I done to create value for you and your family during the last year? What do I intend to do to create value for the next year? And what makes us unique and why should you continue to do business with us? See, I feel like I need to be accountable because I want them to be accountable to their plan, their solution formulator. So steps one through seven need to be completed before year end in order to not miss out on tax year 2019, 2020, whatever year they're in. Take those tax reduction strategies before taxes go up. 
So the beauty of this solution formulator is for critical thinking, to be able to get in your mind the big picture, the benefits. And then you go through and say, well, what are the greatest opportunities? What are the greatest resources? What are the dangers that we need to overcome? And what resources will, will eliminate those dangers? And so what are the greatest opportunities and benefits at the end of the day? When does this have to come to fruition? What are the specific action steps? You empower your children, your grandchildren, yourself by using this thinking tool. And in 45 minutes, you can be thinking clearer than you've ever thought before about how you're going to tackle some decision or problem. So let me give you a quick example. Our youngest daughter, Ashley, when she went on a semester abroad to Israel and Egypt for four and a half months, she came back and it was such an awesome experience. She says, Mom, Dad, I want to go on a semester abroad in New Zealand. I said, sounds good. Why? It matches my minor in recreational development and I can still focus on my major in accounting. I said, oh, well, why don't you go fill out a solution formulator? She goes, oh, I forgot. I'll be back in about an hour. She went up to her room and filled out the solution formulator. She came down. She says, I think it's a good idea. I've made up my mind. Yes, I have these obstacles. I don't have enough money to do this. And I'm going to graduate a semester later than I thought. But you know what? I can sell my car, come up with this much money. And if I graduate a semester later, it'll dovetail with this and everything works out actually as good or better than it was before. But I'm short about $1,500. Mom, dad, could I borrow? She didn't ask for mom and dad to pay. Can I borrow 1,500 and I'll pay it back 500 a month over three months? I said, take the pressure off. Pay back 300 a month over five months, loan approved. You've really thought this through. What did that do? It gave her ownership it was her decision, not our decision. If they come to you and want you to decide, then if it goes awry, they'll blame you. I empower them with a solution formulator. They can make their own decision. And when they feel like the advantages outweigh the disadvantages and they can do it, they own it and then they can take off and run with it. If you like this tool or many others, go to EA. EA stands for EntitlementAbolitionBook.com. You can get a free copy of this book sent to you by paying $5.95 shipping and handling. But if you go to EABookTools.com, there's like five of my favorite 20 tools that are free for you. You can also pay a nominal fee to have access to all of these tools.